Hey, what is going down guys? My name is Flandies and in this video today I'll be showing you guys an alternative way and a much much faster way to get the power on in Black Ops 2 Zombies Transit Mode. And this is not as simple as just opening some doors, make your way to the power room using the bus and finding the pieces. We're going to be utilizing a teleporter which combines a wind turbine, a lamp post, and a denizen forest creature all into one. And we're going to utilize that teleporter to make our way to the power room much faster than normal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is construct your turbine and then get your way out of the spawn building. You can either buy the door that I bought in the game play or just open the alternative doors with the wind turbine. After that you're going to want to put your turbine right next to the lamppost in the game play, the one right outside the bus depot spawn room. Then after that you're going to want to attract a denizen forest creature onto your face, bring him near the turbine and lamppost and knife him close enough to it where he will actually fall off your face and create this teleporter kind of thing with the turbine in the lamp post. So obviously enough you guys are going to want to jump onto that denizen made teleporter and you're going to want to quickly navigate your way through the fog. You're going to be transported into a random fog area on the transit mode map and you're just going to have to use your navigational skills to make it to the power room. It may be hard at first but after a while and doing this a couple of times you'll be able to arrive at the power room with no problem at all. So here I just have to get some points real quick to open the door which costs 750 to actually get underground and you'll see me doing that here. So once you get your way into the underground, it's really pretty simple from there. A lot of you guys will know how to turn the power on from this point, but for all of you guys that don't, you're basically going to need to find three parts or three buildables in this underground area. You're going to need to find the power box, the switch, and the zombie's hand. And once you find all three of those, they're scattered throughout the area. You usually can find two in the little room I'm in the gameplay right now, and then the zombie's hand is just on the ground in a random part of the underground. And once you find all three of those buildables you're just going to want to put them on the workbench and build them together and you will see your very very familiar very very famous zombies power switch and once you have all those items constructed together you'll actually be able to switch it on a big electrical explosion will come out and you will actually have the power on so that's going to about wrap it up for this video today i hope you guys enjoyed and just want to give a big shout out to the relaxing end for initially being the one to come up with this concept also before you guys exit out of the video what a lot to if you guys could just take one second out of your day to leave this video a rating obviously if you enjoyed the video a like rating would be greatly appreciated but if you didn't hey leave a dislike it doesn't really kill me all that much down the inside so my name is Flanny. thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and peace out guys have a nice day